Jaguar. You guys, we're talking about carb loading today. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about carb loading. This is a question that I get all the time. What is carb loading and how do we do it? So the first thing to kind of know about carb loading is that carbohydrates are actually our body's preferred source of energy. Now, this is not a debate on low carb diets. We are strictly just talking about carb loading today. So our body, when we consume carbohydrates, our body stores those carbohydrates as glycogen within our muscles and our liver. And that glycogen that it's being stored can actually sustain about 60 to 90 minutes of exercise. So if you're doing a long endurance run, like a marathon, a triathlon, topping off those storage units a couple days prior to your race has actually been proven to boost your performance. Now, that also goes to say that if you are a beginner runner, if you're running your first 5K, first 10K, chances are you don't need to be worrying about carb loading yet. But if you do have an endurance race coming up, um, how, how do we carb load, right? There's a lot of kind of misconception that carb loading is eating a giant plate of pasta the night before a race. And that's just simply not true, okay? Because as you are training, as you are going through your long runs, preparing for this endurance race, you should be kind of narrowing in on your nutrition to figure out what works for you and how we can best add those carbs in um, closer to the race day, okay? Because carb loading is actually just um, consuming a little bit more carbohydrates than you would before a normal training run, okay? So that does not mean replacing the foods that you would normally eat with pasta. It means that as you are going through your marathon training plan, as you are getting ready for these long runs, really take a look at the foods that you're eating, how those fuels, that fuel is affecting your performance and benefiting your body, and then as you get closer to race day, about three to four days prior, you can just consume a little bit more carbohydrates than what you were doing throughout your training plan. So this might be just adding a whole grain bagel as a little treat or breakfast. This may be just adding another portion of brown rice at dinner. It's not adding just, it, it's ton and ton and ton of carbs because we don't want our body to have a negative response to overloading our body with foods that we normally wouldn't eat before a run. We want to stay super consistent with our nutrition so we know exactly how our body is going to respond. Now, a lot of carbohydrate options do contain a lot of fibers. So I want you just keep, to keep in mind that maybe eating a ton of fiber before a long race isn't the best idea. So as you are thinking about what carbs you want to kind of add the days prior to a race, kind of start to think about how your body is going to react to those foods, okay? And also think about the quality of the carbs, right? It's not just eating a bunch of breads and pastas. You can start to think about, you know, is this a simple carb or is this a complex carb? 
For me, my favorite thing is brown rice the night before a race, just having a little bit more than I would normally eat with a little bit of chicken and um, some vegetables with that. That is my favorite night before a race uh, meal. Lots of complex carbs, perfect to get me going for those long runs. So think about what is going to work for you and your body and remember that your long runs throughout your training pl- throughout your training are actually practice and trial runs getting you ready for race day. So really figure out what works for you and your body so that way the days leading up to your race, you can just add a little bit more carbs than what you would normally eat and you are good and loaded up on those carbs and ready for your race. So that's it for me today, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.